News tonight, the two pieces of art that disappeared from the Boston Public Library's collection have been found. Lauren Lemanchek is live in Boston with this story. Lauren? Well, Kate, the artwork's been missing for about a year, although leaders didn't find that out until April. The BPD, the FBI were all involved, thinking it may have been stolen, but turns out these two valuable pieces were here at the Boston Public Library the whole time, simply misplaced. And the phone rang, and one of our exhibition managers was kind of choked up and said, Amy, we found the missing artwork. So I ran up, left my sandwich, ran up. People were crying, smiling. I mean, it was just an incredible scene. It was Boston Public Library President Amy Ryan describing the moment the two missing works of art were found. The two pieces, one a Rembrandt worth more than $20,000, the other by Albrecht Durer is worth 600000 Turns out it wasn't a criminal caper, they were simply misplaced. It right. was just a human error. A human error that cost Ryan her job. She resigned yesterday under heavy pressure from the public and the mayor. You, you are still resigning? Yes. But what if these pieces of art were found just a day sooner? Would you have resigned still had they found it? No, I just can't speculate. This, you know, it was a course of events, and I'm just so glad that we found the missing pieces of artwork. It really lifts a cloud. For the past eight weeks, library workers have been combing through 8,300 square feet of print stacks. The Rembrandt and the Dura were filed 80 feet from where they should have been. The library is home to more than 200,000 prints, leading some to ask, isn't there a better way to keep track? And now we're going to do an administrative review of our internal procedures to figure out, well, to figure out how it happened and to make sure it never happens again. Now, I asked Ryan about all the criticism. She said that she thinks people are just really passionate about the public library. And a lot of people might not understand just what a complex place this is. Live in Boston, Lauren Lemanchek, WBZ News. David and Kate, back to you. Yeah, something tells me they'll be watching them closely this time around.